In this video, we look at petty cash. If your business sometimes pays for small expenses using cash, it's important to enter those transactions into Xero. This helps ensure you've recorded all your business expenses, not just the ones that go through your main bank account. Now, there are two ways to record petty cash in Xero. This video is part one, where we look at managing petty cash using a petty cash bank account. In part two, we look at managing petty cash using manual journals. I'll put a link to the part two video in the description and at the end of this video. But here, we'll start by setting up a petty cash account in Xero. Then I'll show you how to add funds to your petty cash account. After that, we'll look at two different ways to record and reconcile small cash payments. And finally, we'll look at what to do if there are any discrepancies between your petty cash balance in Xero and your actual cash that you have on hand. Okay, let's get started. The first step is to set up a petty cash bank account in Xero. So go to accounting and bank accounts. And let's add a bank account. Now this is where you'd normally search for a bank account. I'm just going to type in petty cash. Now there's no match, of course. So at the bottom, we'll add without bank feed and continue. Now enter a bank name. So I'll just type in petty cash again. You need an account name. Again, I'll type petty cash. The account type is other. You need an account number. I'm just going to put something like some dollar signs. Make sure you've got the right currency and add account. And that's our petty cash account set up easy. Now the next step is to add some funds to the account. So how much cash do you have on hand in your business and where did that cash come from? There are a few different ways to add funds to petty cash in zero. If you're setting up your organization for the first time and there was a cash balance shown in your previous accounting system, enter an opening balance for petty cash in the conversion balances screen, just as you would do for your other bank accounts. If you withdrew some money from your bank to use as petty cash, you can record a bank transfer to reflect this in zero. Perhaps you've made a cash sale and you'll use this to fund petty cash expenses. Or maybe you've used your own money to use as petty cash. You can record this as funds introduced. Let's look at each one of these in turn. So to enter your opening petty cash balance, go to accounting, advanced and conversion balances. Click add a new line and search for your petty cash account and enter the balance when you first started using Xero into the debit column. So in my example, it was $155.70 and click save. And now our petty cash has the correct opening balance. You only need to enter a conversion balance if you had a petty cash balance in your previous accounting software when you started using Xero. If you do need to enter an opening balance and need a little bit more guidance, take a look at this video on my channel. I'll put a link to it in the description. Let's look at another way of adding funds to your petty cash. Let's say you've withdrawn some cash from your business bank account. In this example, we've withdrawn $100. Let's go to the dashboard. We can see our business bank account shows that there's one item to reconcile. There's a payment of $100. This was a, an ATM withdrawal, and we use that money for petty cash. So click the transfer tab, and we're going to transfer that money from the business bank account to the petty cash account. Click OK. That creates a transaction in the business bank account and reconciles it. It also creates a transaction in the petty cash account. So up at the top, we can toggle between our bank accounts.
and we can see the balance in zero now includes that opening balance of 155.70 plus the hundred dollars that we transferred from our business bank account into the petty cash account. But notice we're not reconciled because that hundred dollars isn't reflected on the bank statement. There is no bank statement yet in zero. So we can't reconcile this and we'll look at reconciling a little bit later in this video. If you've used your own money or you've used a cash sale to fund petty cash, the method is quite similar. We're going to add a new receive money transaction. Now you can add receive money transactions using the manage account button or you can use the plus icon at the top. If you use that plus icon, just select petty cash. So in this first example, I've put in $50 of my own money into the petty cash tin. So I'll put my name in from, this was yesterday. Enter a description. Unit price was $50 and the account is funds introduced. And save. And we can see the balance in zero in the top right has increased. Now adding funds through a cash sale is similar. So let's say we've made a cash sale and we've put that money into our petty cash tin. We haven't yet recorded the sale, so let's do it now. I'll create a new receive money transaction. Let's say this was a sale to Jim a couple of days ago. And this was $35. Just record this to sales and save. And again, we can see the balance in zero in the top has been updated. So that balance of $340.70 comprises $155.70, the opening balance, the $100 we transferred from our business bank account, the $50 that I put in personally, and the $35 from cash sales. And you can see on the account transactions tab, we've got three unreconciled transactions. So these are zero transactions, but there's no bank statement to match. If we clicked on the reconcile tab, there's nothing there because there is no bank statement yet in zero. We haven't imported a bank statement. But zero lets us manually reconcile these account transactions. So let's take a look at this cash sale. Up at the top, click the question mark and enable mark as reconciled. Notice a little more button pops up. So we'll select that cash sale, click more and mark as reconciled. And zero just pops up with a little warning to say, this is something you should only do if there is no bank statement transaction. And we can see that transaction, that cash sale is now reconciled. My statement balance in zero has been updated. So this essentially creates a dummy bank statement line and it reconciles the transaction to that dummy bank statement line. The bank transaction source says user, so you know it's been ma manually reconciled. So let's quickly manually reconcile these other transactions. And now the petty cash account is reconciled. We've got $340.70. Next, we look at two ways to enter and reconcile payments for petty cash. Now, the first method is to enter individual spend money transactions as you incur the expense. So let's say we've had a milk delivery to the office for $3.60. We're going to record that expense in zero. So just in the same way as before, 
we're going to create a new transaction. Here it's a spend money transaction. And we paid Ernie, the milkman. This was a, a few days ago. Put in a description. And it was for $3.60. And save. So we've created that expense. It's unreconciled. We're going to manually mark this as reconciled. Great, and once again, we're all reconciled. So using Mark as reconciled is fine if you don't have that many transactions to reconcile, but if you have quite a few transactions, there is a much quicker way. To record multiple petty cash transactions at once, the quickest way is to import them. You can then reconcile them just like any normal bank transaction. But to make it even quicker, we can import a pre-coded bank statement. So Xero creates the transactions and reconciles them at the same time. This is a really efficient way to record multiple petty cash transactions. Now here's a list of my petty cash transactions. Perhaps you record these in a book as you go, just to keep track. Now I need to import these into Xero. So first of all, I'll download a bank statement import file. So from the Manage Account menu, let's import a statement. And here we can download a Xero CSV template. So here's the template, and it's just pretty empty. Date, amount, payee, description, reference, and check number. All I'm going to do is remove the reference and check number, and instead I'll add an account code and tax rate. Enter all the cash transactions that you want to import into Xero, and here they are. All the payments are negative, any receipts are positive. So we can see we've got quite a few cash payments here. We've got one receipt. This was for some more money that I put into the business. Notice all of these are tax exempt. In this example, my business isn't registered for sales tax. So if we're happy with this file, we will download this as a CSV, and then we can import it into Xero. So back in zero, on the import bank transaction screen, click select file. And here we assign the column. So essentially we're telling zero what the information on that spreadsheet is. It automatically recognizes date, amount, payee, and description. So we just need to tell zero that this column was the account code and this was the tax type. Click Next and Complete Import. And great, Xero has imported 13 transactions and reconciled them all at once. We can see our petty cash account is reconciled, so we know we've recorded all our cash expenses. The final thing to do is check that your petty cash balance in Xero agrees to your actual cash on hand. If it does, great. You can be confident that you've recorded all your cash expenses correctly in Xero, and there's no missing cash. But if it doesn't, then you should investigate. Perhaps you've forgotten to enter a cash expense, or you've entered a cash expense incorrectly, or some cash has gone missing. Doing a reconciliation of your petty cash in Xero to your cash float is a good business control. And it's up to you how you manage this. Perhaps you're willing to spend a lot of time investigating small differences, or maybe you've got a policy that you only investigate differences if they're above a certain amount. So for me, I'm only going to investigate differences if they're above, let's say, $1. And I've created an account in my chart of accounts called Overs Unders. So each month, if there's a small difference, I'll post it to the Overs Unders account. And I'm willing to accept that sometimes my actual Balance in zero might be slightly higher and sometimes slightly lower than my actual cash balance in my business. So let's say I've counted the petty cash that I have in my office, and there's a small difference. It's actually $267.70. So there's a 20 cents difference. 
and I'm happy to write this off, it's only small, I'm not going to bother investigating why there's a difference. We're just going to write that 20 cents off to the overs unders account. Now in this example, it's going to be an expense of 20 cents because I want to reduce that balance. So let's create a new spend money transaction. Let's say this was yesterday. And I'll just put in a petty cash difference to write off. It's 20 cents. So just as before, we've created a transaction in zero. It's unreconciled. So we can see at the top, we've got a slight difference. Let's mark this as reconciled. And fantastic, we've reconciled petty cash and it now agrees to the cash we have in our petty cash float in the office. As I mentioned earlier, this video is only part one. If you want to manage petty cash using manual journals, check out this video. Yeah.